Folks, what the heck's going on out there? I came up with this new song, and it's really hard, and I don't even know why I'm playing it, because it just makes me want to swear. But I'm going to show it to you so that I can make you swear, too. Because I'm a giver. Ho-ho! <laughs> what? I was coming up. This is a, one of these new Fender 70th anniversary broadcaster guitars from the Fender Custom Shop, Wildwood Guitars, where I do all those sweet videos out in Colorado. Of course, I can't go out there as of late because of, well, you know. So uh, this guitar, they said they sent me one already, and it sold like within an hour of me doing a little video on it. So I think they're hoping that happens again. Uh, but this guitar is a heavy relic. Uh, it sounds good, doggone it. Anyway, I came up with this little thing. I was messing around with this melody. <laughs> I'm going to try to play it with the loop. I'm probably going to mess it up, to be honest with you. But uh, you know what? It's all for fun anyway. Am I right? It's not like we're making the White Album here, damn it. Wow, I got a little sensitive there. Some of the fury that was on display a little bit earlier today as I was playing this song. You know, why do you come up with songs that you can't play? I don't, I don't understand me or people like me. Anyway, let's see what happens. Anyway, some fun stuff in there, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, the loop that I'm doing is just kind of a little... When I'm doing loops, right now I'm using the Ditto, uh, TC Electronics Ditto, what do they call it? The X2, ladies and gentlemen. And I usually put the metronome on and just play along with the metronome as I'm doing the thing. It makes it easier to make sure that you're stepping on the right beat so that the loop is correct. Or else little, there's always those little hiccups which makes you hate the looper and use your swears on it. Uh, but anyway, I made this little... Uh, so with my right hand, I got a kind of a fluid thing going on. It's the wrist. And I'm also, I have a loose grip with the pick. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, I guess we're not going to lose that buzz. Anyway, um, that's one of my signature pickups are dead quiet. But we won't get into that. Um, so we have a little bit of torque here with this knuckleage. So we got some movement there, and I got some movement at the at the wrist, okay? So when I'm doing my little pattern. It's 
kind of that Stevie Ray thing. But so this for this particular tune, I'm actually doing a uh, instead of going to the five chord. I'm going up to the B flat 13. So this is in G, right? So instead of going to the five, I go B flat 13, A 13, A flat 13, back to G. It's kind of a cool variation of a turnaround. So say. So anyways, over the top of that, I came up with this little lick, uh, this little uh, kind of a triplet. So this little walk up here, I'm just in kind of in G blues land here. So I got, you know, in this G blues scale position. So that little run up there, I'm just starting at the root of the G there uh, on G note on the D string there at the fifth fret. Then I'm going right up to the G string at the uh, third fret and going chromatically up. I'm doing that alternate picking. Oh, ooh, G string's going a little. G string's saying, you know what? I don't think so. So that, that right there is kind of a. Sometimes I do this little kind of backward sweep. And then here we are, I'm going. Lick alone is just kind of good, clean fun. And those guys, but didn't. And then here I'm doing these little diminished chords, and uh, I'm going from the, I'm cutting out the fret, this is a diminished seventh. My pinky's on the high E string there at the third fret, then I'm going to the sixth fret, and then I'm going up to the ninth fret, then I'm giving a little squiggle. Up, up and back, or, or down, depending on what I'm in the mood for. And then I do it the opposite way down uh, when I do the lick again. time I do it, I do this kind of a double stoppy, just kind of outlining or messing with that, uh, doing double stops around the B flat 13 chord. And then here I'm going, I'm kind of basically doing, I'm thinking A flat uh, with a, a sharp 11 or a flat 5, depending on how you want to look at it. So it's actually an E flat, technically speaking, I'm doing an E flat melodic minor scale. it back to G. The second time I do that lick, I go kind of the same thing, but now I'm thinking over that B flat chord, I'm thinking an F melodic minor. And then I go into this other little melody thing using force. So I'm basically just. And I go to this little T-bone walker. It's basically like here would be the G7 up here. You go down a half step again. And you're kind of just bending that G string up a little bit, giving it a little sick, sweet T-bone. Anyway. And 
then over the, the turnaround, and then I'm going. So there's a little tick a tick. And then solo land, I just do whatever. <laughs> but uh, a lot of times, I just like, put the little pedal on. There's a lot of open strings when you're in the key of G, so I do that a lot. I might start in this position down here. There's a Chet Atkins riff years ago. I'm, I've, I've used it in songs and all kinds. that stuff I'm kind of using a pick on the lower string and my middle finger on the higher string of where I'm at and I might throw a little pinch harmonic I choke way up on the pick kind of rake it across the string Works particularly well on the bridge pickup of a telecaster or a broadcaster in this position. Uh, and then when I'm going over those chords, I don't always have to, when you're in a song like this that has that kind of turnaround where it goes B flat, you don't have to play over every one of those chords if you don't want to. But if you want to, it's kind of fun. So. I hope any of this was instructive in some way, shape, or form. I hope the performance was halfway decent. I don't want to vomit. Uh, anyways, for um, anything um, caulk oriented, you can go to my website, gregcock.com, G R E G K O C H.com. I got all kinds of stuff. And people are like, do you have records? Yes, they're all on the website. Do you have instructional materials? I got a shit ton. I'm sorry, I shouldn't use that language. Now I got to say, I used appropriate, inappropriate language. Um, I used a hack ton. I have a hack ton. Uh, and they're all on my website. I got videos, I got books with audio, I got books with videos, I've got DVDs on all kinds of chicken picking and blues playing and nostril picking and oh, so many activities. Hats, there's Skype lessons. You can, it's like, it's like everything you could ever possibly want except for everything else. What? Thanks for tuning in. Gregory Cockery in the Orange Room with this borrowed broadcaster from Wildwood Guitars. We'll see you guys later.